Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for April. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, we're just going to see what comes up for April. What do we got for April? Please show me for the sign of Scorpio. I'm going to get one of these for an overall energy, and then we're going to use that deck right there. Scorpio. What do we got for Scorpio? Ooh, temptation. That's a good one, isn't it, Scorpio? You're always tempted, aren't you? You have some desires that are need to be met, perhaps. There could be some addictions. Um, there could be some lust. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Be careful. Be careful because all may not be as it seems. You may be tempted by something that isn't really healthy. It's not good for you, so just be careful. I mean, hey, it is what it is, right? Scorpio. There's a strong attraction anyway. That's for darn sure. do we have for Scorpio for April? Scorpio for April. <laughs> change is on the horizon. Big change. All right. This is destiny. This is faded. A faded change, of course. So it looks like you guys are probably moving in a new direction you know this is a chapter in your life that is closing and a new one is beginning wow you may be a little fearful of it maybe you maybe you don't really want this change i don't know Ugh. you may be trying to um protect yourself or not or, or defend yourself you may feel um like you're trying to resist this change of some sort you may be trying to escape change or something like that because this is kind of like escaping as well you know i really feel as though you may be undecisive you may be you may be undecisive if you are the scorpio female or male you could be dealing with somebody who lacks integrity. Just saying, be careful. You may need to defend yourself. You may be. You may need to protect yourself from this person. Um, you could definitely be dealing with somebody that is very attractive, very alluring, but they don't have integrity. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, hmm. Ooh, so you may shut them down. You may shut them down. I don't know if that's what you're going to do, but it feels like you may recognize. You, you have a lot of wisdom behind your back. You may recognize their games. You may recognize that, you know, there's no growth here. I really feel like you may be investing your time and energy in a player. This is my player card, the Page of Pentacles Reversed. Uh, maybe you know it. Maybe you decide that you're going to take a time out to go within to think about this person, to think about, you know, whether you want them in your future, whether you want the next chapter to include them. I feel like right now you are probably observing. You're probably thinking about, you know, whether you want to involve this person or not. I think that you are trying to hold on to your stability. I feel like you want things to be stable. You may be, you know, still healing from something in your past. Maybe you have gotten out of a relationship or a love connection in the past. You, 
you're forgiving, you're healing, you are letting go of the past hurts, and maybe it's this person, maybe it's this person, maybe you're letting go of the old idea that, you know, this person is ever going to change, and you're deciding that it's time to change your course, it's time for a new beginning, that could be the case. Maybe you finally recognize that there's nothing you can do here, it's time for you to, it's time for you to move on. I feel like you guys have been waiting and waiting and waiting for something. Maybe you've been waiting for somebody to forgive you or you've been waiting for somebody to accept your offer and they're just like not doing it. I feel as though you've held on for long enough and I feel like it's time to maybe relocate or plant your seed someplace else. Make Give somebody else what you have to offer, all right? Whatever is happening Whatever this change is, this is a destined change, of course. This is happening to bring you something better. Um, I think whatever you are holding on to doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. And I feel like perhaps, you know, it's all been a lie, you know. Um, definitely it's all been a lie. So somebody has been hanging on to somebody who is an energy thief. Somebody that is a thief per se, period. This person is deceptive. This person um, is a liar, sneaky, shady. Um, they may have promised the world and they were full of shit. Um, and now it's like communication has been blocked or communication is going to be blocked. You know, there's no forward movement. And perhaps it's just time for you to spin that wheel and head to your new destination. I really feel like you guys are deciding to walk away from some sort of thief, you know, some sort of tricky individual, somebody who played you. I feel like you're removing that obstacle from your life. You're getting unstuck. You are. I feel like you are realizing that you have a better option. I feel like you are regaining that spark within you. I think the spark has been relit. I feel as though, you know, you may have been distracted and now you're starting to get focused again. Um, I think the seeds that you have planted, uh, you know, I don't know when, probably they're starting to come to fruition. Maybe maybe you're finally deciding, you know, it's it's time. I've, I've been waiting for the right time to move on. I've done everything I can do. I can see growth in the future. But in order for me to head towards this growth, I have to, I have to take that step away from this lie okay the devil only brings in lies so we have a lie here we have a lie here it's walking away from a liar <laughs> that's what it looks like to me i feel as though you have a better option this is a better suitor as well so you may re be receiving a message from somebody that is better suited for you and you decide you know it's time it's time it's time to stop being trapped now this came out sideways so, you know, I don't know what it is. And I caught it with my hand. Um, so we're going to say it's reversed. <laughs> but I, it's a challenge, okay? It's like there's, there's an, a breakdown, an upheaval, a disruption in your life. There's, there's a false contract, perhaps, that somebody has been holding on to. And they have been um, not allowing it to to crash, not allowing it to break down, trying to control an outcome when it needs to crash, okay? Somebody has been trying to avoid change, okay? Like I started this reading out, the tower comes in to, you know, force change. And I think that somebody has been trying to, you know, avoid it. Somebody's been trying to avoid change, probably trying to escape, maybe with drugs or who knows what, but it's time for a change, it's time for a clean state, slate, it is time to start over, it's time to start over, so I really feel as though somebody is about to, rebuild a new foundation, that's what it looks like to me, Somebody's been sacrificing themselves needlessly for a false connection. And I'm sorry to say that. Now you have an, another opportunity. You have another opportunity. 
change of course, change of direction leads to love. <clears throat> but you notice you got to walk away from something. And some of you, you know, maybe you have to walk away from a wife. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you here. Maybe you got to walk away from um, somebody that is smothering, somebody that is selfish, somebody that um, chases other men. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who doesn't value themselves, doesn't, and or it could be you. It could be you. I mean, this is somebody who. Doesn't know their worth, period. This is somebody who doesn't know their value. This is somebody who lacks inner abundance, lacks compassion for themselves. And I feel like perhaps, you know, you've somebody has tried to avoid this breakup. They've tried to avoid this breakdown, but it's like there's no growth here. Okay, there's no growth. And there is a better option. There's a better option for love. So I really feel like it's, it's, it, there's a... We have a change coming. It's a positive change. And it's going to lead you, I think, towards a better suitor. Okay? Because a page of wands is a better suitor. A better partnership. But we have this person here that is not knowing their value. Somebody doesn't know their value. It's like they don't want to deal with the pain. And I see the avoidance here. Somebody is trying to escape the pain to get the blessing. You have to accept. You have to go through a period of healing you have to allow and you have to wait for the right time and I feel like there's a blessing that wants to come into your life but somebody's trying to escape the pain of a crash and burn a, 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 a loss a loss of love I think there's a relationship that has fallen apart or it isn't reciprocated or it's just not there anymore and somebody is holding on to it and they're living some sort of lie and they have an oppor a better opportunity just waiting for them, just waiting. Um, but nobody is taking any action. Nobody is taking any action. But it's time to take control. It's time to take the lead. It's time to be the boss. It's time to bring structure back to your life. You know, you have to do what's right. You have to be the dominant one here. You have to protect yourself. Somebody has been in a in a false contract, a false really contract. I mean, the empress, the empress reversed with the emperor. It's like a false soulmate contract. Okay, this is a false foundation. Somebody's been holding on to a false contract when they have some a better option. Allowing that obstacle to hold them back from this new suitor that is better suited for them. You may be, you may have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that has something really solid, stable to offer you. And you're not seeing it or you're not moving forward because you're holding on to the wrong one. I don't know who this is for, but... Somebody is not getting the communication or the forward movement or the success or the abundance or the wish fulfillment with somebody that they think is the one when the that one is not the one. The other one is the one. This is actually a blessing in disguise that it didn't work out, but somebody isn't seeing situation clearly because they're escaping the reality. I don't know with what, but definitely escaping the reality. So I feel like you do have somebody that has something really stable, solid to offer and you need to be practical. You need to be grounded. You need to realize. You need to be real, okay? You need to um, find your discipline to know, know your self-worth. Know what you're worth. Some of you are getting out of a commitment, okay? There could be a divorce coming, okay? There could be a major upheaval that's on the horizon. There could be some legal issues in the future. And I think that somebody could be, coming sing be, be, be becoming single. We have somebody here that uh, may already be single and they may be working on their abundance and being patient, waiting, 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 waiting for, you know, this new suitor, this new partnership to enter their life. 
if you have been waiting and you have been single for at least nine months, you could be coming into contact with um, a new partnership that you have been waiting for. Okay, all of a sudden it might be right in front of you. So all of a sudden it may just arrive. So if you have been single for at least nine months and you are self-sufficient and you are enjoying life and you haven't taken action and you've been waiting, you could have a new partner coming into your life. If you are in a marriage, you know, there could be a divorce. Okay, I'm just, this is, this is honesty here. Okay, and now you need to get prepared through singlehood for your perfect match. So we definitely have a change. Change is coming whether you are married or single. We have a change that is on the horizon. We absolutely do. Um, it's a change in partnership for sure. It's a, it's a change in suitors. All right. So I think I, I really feel like this is a month of. uncommitting yourself to something that doesn't serve you anymore. Do you know what I mean? Breaking free from the lie. Taking back your power. Taking control. You know, and people will call this the miser card saying it's being greedy. The overall outcome is being greedy. No. Not always. It's about holding on to your morals. And planting your seeds and waiting. You know, and this is this is planting your seeds and waiting. And I think that for those of you that have been waiting, it's right around the corner. It is right around the corner. For those of you that are still holding on to this dead end lie, there's no growth there. And you have a better option for love. I feel like it's it's as though, you know, there's been so much fear of change and there's been so much indecisiveness and somebody has restricted other options holding on to a player. So it's time to stop. It is time to... Choose that new road. Close that book. Don't restrict yourself because of somebody that doesn't love you or doesn't reciprocate because you have somebody here that will. So I feel like for some of you, it's becoming independent. It's like moving out, honestly. Moving out of the home. Filing for divorce. Going through a divorce. Taking back your power. For some of you, it is actually seeing, okay? If you've been independent, it's seeing something on the horizon. It's like, oh my God. It's right in front of you. You know, it's here. So... Grounding. Remember I told you, you got to be grounded. <sighs> Go deep. Explore your roots. So, I just have to tell you. A loss of one situation. Okay. The person, you know, a loss of love. A, a shut down, you know, somebody may have shut you down. Leads to a new connection. Believe it or not, it's a blessing in disguise. The tower is a blessing in disguise. It is a blessing in disguise. You have somebody that's better suited for you. But you got to be realistic. And you can't keep trying to escape the pain. You have to accept what is. Enjoy your life. Close that chapter and begin again. 
It's destiny. We have a destined change, of course, that is leading you towards a new partnership. And a lot of you may not want to hear that. Take time to ground yourself in what is truly essential. Remember what's important in life and let go of everything else. Let go of the busyness and the frenetic pace of life. Be present in the moment. Release the flurry of worry about the future or the rehashing of the past. This is a time to engage and reflect. It might be worth taking a second look at something you previously passed over. You remember I said... Seeds that you have planted a long time ago, maybe, you know, you have an opportunity, and I, and I felt this, but I didn't say it, to reconnect with somebody from your, from your way past. Way, 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 way. Anyway, where am I? Things may not always be as they seem. Look deeper. And remember, I started the reading out. Something is not as it seems. Look deeper into the situations and relationships in your life. Explore your roots. And if you say and explore your roots is going back to the way past. Absolutely. Something that seems closed may in fact be just ready to open. If you go beneath the surface, you may find a hidden gem of truth, light, and abundance. So that's what I have. Go back to your roots. Maybe that's where the love of your life is. It's not the one that is not reciprocating, just so you know. It's somebody else. Somebody needs to not lie to themselves as well. The devil instills fear to keep people stuck. To keep them chained to things that don't serve them. It's time to break free. You have a love connection waiting for you to see it. Good luck.